Hello, my name is Linda. I'm a UK independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm making a card today using the Dragonfly Garden, and I'm also going to be using the Gilded Leafing today as well. We have a piece of vellum, and then I've already um, gone ahead and cut some pieces here. So we have Pool Party, basic black, basic white. The white is 9.5 by 13.7 centimetres, the black is 9.8 by 14 centimetres and the pool party is 10.2 by 14.4 and basically we're just going to be layering these on top of each other. You can adjust these to whoever you want them to be. And lastly we have a piece of thick basic white and we're going to turn this into our card base. This is A4. I'm going to put this on 14.9 or just under 14.9 and cut. You can put this piece away for another card. Then turn and so we have the long side at the top, go along to 10.5 centimetres and score. And this is our card base. I'm just going to burnish this with my bone folder and put that to one side. I'm going to do some stamping now. I'm going to use both of the dragonflies and I have my piece of basic white that we cut out earlier and I have the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink so I'm going to ink up my dragonfly and I want to put my dragonfly sort of in the centre of my card I'm going to ink up the next one and I'm going to put that coming off the page, coming onto the page and then I'm going to ink again. You can see a pattern coming here. I'm going to cover the whole of my paper in um, dragonflies. So I've randomly stamped my dragonflies. I'm going to put this to one side. We're now going to do some stamping onto vellum. So I've cleaned my dragonfly. I have some Versamark ink. I'm just going to use my um, embossing buddy just over one end of this and then I'm going to ink up my dragonfly and stamp that down so I'm actually going to be using um, the heat and stick powder from Stampin' Up so I'm putting this on a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to tip my powder over my stamped image now, you could just um, use gold embossing powder. And then we can just put this back in here. I think you can just see that. So now we're going to heat that up with our heat tool. It heats up really quickly and then this is what we're going to be using, the gilded leaf in. So this does float around, it goes everywhere. So I've got myself a little box that I keep it in. There's loads in here, it's going to last forever. And then all we need to do is just pick some up and lay it onto our dragonfly image. Okay, so I just rub that all in. I'm going to put the lid back on this. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. I've got a piece of um, clean kitchen roll and I'm just going to gently rub so just little circles to get rid of um, the excess that we don't need. So there's my finished dragonfly and then turning it over I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring. So I've got the dark Bermuda Bay and the um, dark basic black. I'm going to fill in the body in black and the wings in, in Bermuda Bay. And so, as you can see, on the back of the vellum, I've just coloured these in. And then it's very, very subtle on the front. So it's um, a really good idea to use a dark colour if you're using a different colour, um, because the light colours just don't show through so well. So then I have my punch which goes with the Dragonfly Dreams. You can get this as a bundle. And I'm going to punch my Dragonfly out. 
you get a nice little border around the edge okay and we're going to leave that to one side for a moment and we're going to stick our layers together so just using wet glue on the back of the basic black and just layering these on as I said you can change your um, measurements for your layer and then we're going to layer the stamped image on top of the black and then we're going to lay this on the front of our card base so um, off of camera I also stamped a sentiment so I've done this in um, basic black cardstock and I've used white embossing powder for my happy birthday the happy birthday is from the well said sentiments and this is it's 14.4 by 1.4 centimeters and I want it to go just across all my layers and I've as you can see I've popped it up on dimensionals I'm going to put that along the bottom and then my dragonfly so on the back of the dragonfly I've just got some double-sided tape this one is really um, quite thin I'm going to put this along the dragonfly's body and take it back off and then I'm going to put my dragonfly on the first dragonfly that we stamped sort of in the center of the card so just the body goes on there and you've still got your wings you can flap around you could actually color this one in as well if you wanted to and so this is the practice one that I did and as you can see I did color that in so when they're flapping up you can see or you can just leave it like this and there we go there's our finished card with our lovely dragonfly on the front I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye